So the world of vaccines has gone through a revolution in the last few years. And therefore, the eighth edition of the vaccines textbook uh, is even more Im important than before. The revolution that I'm speaking of is the, the development of new methods to develop vaccines, uh, plus a tremendous advanced, uh, advances in the development of vaccines that have been lacking in prior years. So since the, um, the, the first uh, edition uh, way back in the uh, 80s, um, uh, the, the world of vaccine, uh, vaccines has become not only much more uh, complex, but it has become a field in itself. It is no longer simply a, um, a subfield of immunology. Of course, um, vaccinology has, as I said, become a field of its own, but also uh, it has um, attracted now a lot of opposition to vaccination. Uh, this is in some ways difficult to understand uh, in view of the value of vaccines. But on the other hand, uh, since vaccines have become so prominent, it's not surprising that um, uh, objections arise from um, uh, more or less uh, from people who are more or less misinformed. So um, it's important that people using vaccines have the latest information. In the eighth edition, uh, obviously, uh, we have provided information on uh, two uh, important uh, developments in uh, vaccines. Uh, COVID, obviously, is a, a major uh, new field for vaccines and has stimulated quite a lot of um, new research and development of vaccine technologies. In addition, monkeypox has become uh, an epidemic and therefore we have a chapter on monkeypox as well. But in addition to that, there have been important new discoveries with regard to many other agents such as respiratory syncytial virus, uh, dengue, and pneumococcal vaccines, just to name a few. I want to emphasize the point that there are now uh, new technologies for vaccine development. When I first started um, in vaccinology years ago, there were basically only two methods to develop vaccines. One was to uh, attenuate an organism, that is to make it weaker and to use it as a vaccine or to kill it and use the killed um, uh, virus or bacteria uh, to, uh, to vaccinate. Now we have an extraordinary explosion of new methods. I, I would say there are now at least a, a half dozen, six to eight, let's say, methods to develop vaccines which were not available in the past. This book, the eighth edition, uh, has been um, done through the work of numerous vaccine experts, uh, a whole raft of people who are, who are knowledgeable in their specialties. And uh, now uh, we have four editors aside uh, from myself. Uh, there's Walter Orenstein, uh, Paul Offit, and Kathy Edwards, all of whom are well-known 
uh, to people in vaccinology. Mm -hmm.